Welcome back, my agents, to another episode of The Insured Gamer. Yep, we're doing it. We're playing Grounded. We're in it for the long haul. You probably noticed that uh, what we did last time, there's a nice little walkway out here. Well, while I was grinding away, I accidentally removed one of the, uh, the supports, and it all just tumbled way down to the ground right in front of the spider house. Um... And yeah, so we're going from there. I got a couple tips and tricks this time, though, for you about how to anchor to the tree because I need anchorage supporting stuff to build this lovely base around the tree. Anyways, if this is something you're looking for, please stick around and stay tuned. Strong. Just heading now um, to go sleep. Seep, seeps. Yep. Um, but yeah, I had built a lot on that structure there. And then one thing happened. I just took out one little path. And, uh, and yeah, it all went to pot. To pot. All right. But I have through much science. Let me replenish these real quick. Oh, that's just... Boom, boom, boom. We don't have any more. We need to go get some more fiber. But anyways, uh, tip and, tips and tricks. Uh, you know, I started doing a lot of science on how I needed to get myself hooked onto this tree. How do I support myself? Well, one thing is, found out, these oh. mushrooms, you can actually build off of the mushrooms. So that's kind of cool. You can build off the mushrooms. Um, second thing to note, you cannot, you cannot build off the tree. So when you go and put a support on the tree, it does not anchor itself and cannot anchor itself to the tree unless, of course, you put it, uh, I think, unless you put it on the, yeah, unless you put it on the mushrooms. Uh, but if you put it on the tree, it doesn't work. It won't anchor itself. Uh, these are on the mushrooms. That's what's working. Um, so anyways, I figured out, like, okay, what can I do? Because sometimes I might need to remove one of these to get to something else. Well, one of the things I learned is that you can use the railing as almost a support structure. So you see this railing underneath. Uh, you can put it either down the middle, but I wanted to go ahead and put two supports on either side. That way it would hold up the structure on top. So therefore, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to do it. I might do it with some grass planks. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's do it with some grass planks. Okay, let's, uh, did I bring up my, um, my stems? Yeah, okay, I brought up some stems. Okay, well, we might need one more. There we go. All right, so... There we go. There we go. Just for the sake of experimentation, we're gonna bring up eight of these planks. We're gonna treat these as almost as if they are wooden boards right here, but grass is a heck of a lot easier to get and to find. Uh, so wooden stuff like this, and then like this. And then like this. All right, so say you're out here and you're like, ah, I really don't like this grass plank here. Well, that's what happened last time is I removed the grass plank and everything behind it all tumbled down. But now that I have these structural supports right here, I can actually remove the grass plank and the one I was on is still up. Ha 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 ha! So therefore it makes it a little bit more difficult to destroy what you're creating. Um, because again, you can't, uh, and I hate it, I really wish they would do this to the game. There's nothing on here that you can try and anchor to the tree. I tried everything. I tried everything to anchor to the tree and nothing works. Um, yeah, the reason that that's working is because there's stuff below it. See, there's stuff below it. Uh, but nothing works going anchoring to the tree at all. Nothing. Yeah, and it anchors there because you got that mushroom uh, right there. But yeah, nothing. So again, that's what I am working with is I'm putting these anchors below the floor. I would like 
to eventually do something a little different down here. I think I'm gonna create maybe a bottom level. So I might need um, the walls that are a little bit higher. So I guess it would be this wall maybe that are a little bit higher um, to put down here, but that might be for a different time. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I guess I could technically put double walls like that if I really wanted to. Um, also, the good thing too, so let's just say I accidentally take off this support. Well, it's still standing because I have this. So, anyways. So, fun facts. Uh, that's how... Oops, see, and I did it. I accidentally hit the wrong one and we're still supported. Yes, sir. So that's what we're going with. We are doing it that way. Unless you have dill weeds for friends who just want to tear it all down and then then you got to run into that. But hopefully the dill weeds of friends that I have won't tear it down because it's going to look gorgeous. This is going to look good and I'm excited about it. So that's what we're doing today. So that's kind of your tips and tricks as far as how to maybe anchor to the um, to the to the to the tree. And it's like a faux anchor, false anchor, faux anchor is you're just creating supports underneath your um, flooring. That way, if you need to tear up your floor, you can. It's much, much easier than having your whole freaking thing collapse. It was I rem you remember I had it nice and beautiful in the last episode. I had it nice and beautiful, but we're going to do it again. Uh, I think we need to go out some more and kind of the cool things about these supports, too, is you can um, once you put them out there, you can actually walk on them. So that's nice, too. I think we're going to go out one more, maybe. So the, the problem with doing this kind of anchoring, uh, you know, how I have grass right here, uh, with doing stems is it takes a freaking buttload of stems. A freaking booty ton of stems to do what I'm doing. But it's structurally sound. So that's all I'm really worried about at this moment is I want to be structurally sound so that it doesn't fall. And we don't want it to fall again. I, I just kind of looked at the, when it did fall, I just kind of looked at the ground and saw this trash heap below me and was like, this is not worth it anymore. <laughs> but no, don't worry. I kept going. I pushed through it and we must get some more stems. All right, so let's get some stems. That's what we're going to do next is we're going to go down to the water area. We're going to get some stimmies and bring them back up here. Stop. I think I hear a spider. Also, the wolf spider has been around here a lot. I don't like it, um, but you know, we have to deal with what we have to deal with, I guess. Anyways, let's go get some stems. All right, we're down here at the stems. This one is my favorite. It's the one right beside the juice, not to be confused with this one up there, uh, but it's the one that's right beside the juice right here. Uh, it's my favorite because it doesn't take a lot to knock down, but look how much this gives you. Watch this. That sucker's gonna just blossom with, ooh, look at all those stems. Goodness gracious. A lot of stems for that one little weed. There's a couple more like that. So you got that one. Uh, I think there's one also down the way a little bit. Like maybe two more down there. Uh, yeah, you can see them right down can there. Have a look around? There's one of them that does the same thing again that just gives you a crap ton of stems when you, when you chop it up. So, stems are good, love stems, um, but it's just, it's a hassle. I might try and build like a zip line down here or something because it's just a hassle. Like going all the way down here, all the way back. The stems are just oof, long ways to get stems for not that much. Like as in you don't do much with them. Uh, I think I want to try to chop down this one. I think it gets a six, which is perfect. That would be just the amount that we can carry. I've been meaning to bring the other stem pallet down here as well, but I just haven't. Oh wow, it gave me a heck of a lot more than six. Yeah, I've been meaning to bring the other stem pallet down there. That way, if um, if we have like some scraps like this, I can just stack them on the other pallet. But yeah, I guess I've been meaning to... There we go. Get in third person. It's a, I don't know. It, it's your preference on whether you like that view or not. 
because if I'm in this view, then I can see everything that's in front of me and I can maybe pick up, oh, no, I guess I can't pick up fiber. I need some more fiber. Um, been told I need more fiber in my diet, but I need more fiber in this game too. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what we're working on is we're just grinding away. Felt like I heard the mama spider in there somewhere, but she gets out somehow. I don't know how, but she gets out. We also need to build kind of like, yeah, I like that. I like using the mushrooms as like a part of the structure itself. It kind of feels fun. This feels good. So I, I think I will go into first person on this one because when you're walking out here, you really want to be on your toes here. Yeah, we're going to go out. Let's just build right out here. Uh, I think we're going to turn and go that way as well because I, I do want it to look like I'm anchored to the tree. Even though I know it's not, I do want it to look like I'm anchored to the tree, so I think we're going to turn and start going the opposite direction, or rather that way. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we need to go ahead... If we want that to be the middle, we're going to build this right here, that right there. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to finish this one off right here. Like so. And then, oh, nope. Gotta have the planks all going the same way. I just, that's, it's a me thing. <laughs> all right, and so this is where we're going. This is gonna be the middle structure. Uh, we're going to do what we did last time. Um, I'm tempted to go ahead and let's, let's do this. Let's do, this, this, and then we're going to go do double this way because we're actually going to go this way. So right there and there. Uh, this will get our anchor points. So you'll see what I mean here in a second. So if we do this, we're also going to put a pallet out here. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do that. But then if we're going to do that, then we might as well do this too. Yeah, we just, it's just a lot of stems. <laughs> Which is, I mean, that's okay. It's not a bad thing. Okay, there's one. Oops. Oh, I, I accidentally off there we go okay uh let's go ahead and get some more stems i'm gonna leave that one up there and take the other one which should be right down here uh let's go get some more stems so the goal eventually is to create zip lines from the tree to any other point in the the game that we need to so um, as you can see we're up quite a bit Let's see what's around right there and the goal is to have it where we can zip line anywhere that we might need to go within the game give me some slurp slurps and so that's that's the purpose one I, I do want it to look like a, just a cool base in general uh, but but two that that is one of the purposes for building a base on the tree is we we just want to have the zip lines where we can go anywhere we want to gotta get a lot of spiderweb though I wish you could make spiderweb oh, that's ridiculous can't make spiderweb but still you can make a lot of other stuff I think you can actually make plant fiber too 
Uh, so I think I think we're good on this stem right here. There's I think it's the next one down that gives you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's the next one down that gives you a lot of stems. Which we're gonna go ahead and tear it down. Alright, so this one, which is by the rose bushes. Thought I heard a spider. Hmm. This one that's by the rose bushes gives a lot of stems too. Timber! Oh yeah, look at that. Lots of stems. Um, but yeah, part of the part of the reason for playing with multiple people too is that they, you know, you can all join together and get in some stems. <laughs> because man, like we used to have like several pallets going at one point at one time when we were all working together. It was good stuff. All right, back up here at the top, we're gonna load that one up. We're going to do this one. Uh, we're gonna do this one. I have a plan, I think, for that one. Uh, let's see though, we're gonna do that. And we will go ahead and do this. Okay. I think that I'm going to build a deck right out here, because look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? So I think I'm gonna build like a front deck on this one. Um, but that'll that'll be later in time. And then we're gonna venture off this way. Okay, so let's let's build uh this right here. Oh we could have just done that. I guess that would have extended past it though. That would have, uh, looked awkward. And then one right... Cha! Just like that. Excellent! So there's our, and I can't, can't remember, it was hexagon... I can't remember. Hexagonal? I don't know what it is, but anyways, we're, we're building it. All right, and then we're going to do this, 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 that, and schwabep, schwabep. We already got that one. Okay, cool, excellent. Load me up, sir. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh no. There it is. Shoot. Oh, we don't have enough. Yep. I could just jump off this, but if you carry the pallet, you jump off and you use your parachute, it, 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 the pallet goes away. So let's go ahead and put the crude rope there. Excellent. We do need some more crude. Um, some. Oh, wait. We have two. And there we go. Perfect. And then we're going to build some walls that we looked at last time, which we'll build a wall right here. Uh, and I think we're going to build these walls. So we'll build one right here. Oh wait, make sure they're pointing the right way. Make sure everything's pointing the right way. I don't know what difference it makes, what way it points. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with the game. What way it points? Uh, let's see. I guess whether it's... No, see, it's on the middle, so it wouldn't have to do whether it's on the inside or the outside of something. Um, but yeah, okay, so always point it towards the outside, towards the outside, towards the outside, towards the outside, and I think I want to put a balcony right there. See, look at all these stems that we need. Goodness gracious. We're going to make sure and have railing all over the place, too. <laughs> Don't want people falling. Also, we've got to finish our staircase right there. And I think I'm going to stop right there and then go sideways a little bit and then go up again. 
Looks really cool though, I like it. I like it. We're doing good things. I do also need to break down acorns. Maybe we'll do that as a little side project too. <clears throat> I will say being down at the water was nice because you didn't have to uh, travel a long way for stems. So if you, so that is a downfall of putting your base high up in the air on the tree is that stems, you, you actually have to go get them. Uh, where did I put that pallet? There we go, there's the pallet. Yeah, that's the only bad part about building something up in the tree is you have to actually go get your supplies. Which is okay. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. But you still have to still have to go out of here. There's a spider over here too somewhere that I'm worried about. Anyways, let's get some stems. I see the spider. He's right over there. Having I saw him. A little peep. He just went over there. Oof. Spider. I I even had a wolf spider attack me too, but it's the the orb weavers aren't as hard to kill. Uh, but the wolf spiders. Yeah. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay, let's go down to the next one. Got a few more down here. What is that? Y'all see that? Oh, it's mosquitoes. They're, they're attacking. No! Cheese. Yeah, jump. Stop trying to block and just go ahead and attack them. Good grief. That was just a small one. That one wasn't even the big one that scared the crap out of me. Do we have any food? We need food. Oh, I don't have any food on me. I have an aphid that I killed, but no food. Nice. I don't know how long it takes for stems to grow back. Oh. Hello, Mama. I'm just gonna watch you. I don't wanna... Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, that dropped a lot of stems. A lot of fiber, too. I'm just keeping an eye on you, that's all. No reason. Just, just keeping an eye on you. Where'd you go? There you are. Hmm. Should we go? No, no, no. We're not going. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Thought about it for half a second, and my brain said no. <laughs> oh goodness. Let's get back up to the base. Alright, we're back up. We're just gonna finish this out a little bit now. How many do you need? Three? Okay. What do you need on this one? Two? Excellent. Uh, now, I know you can build door frames as well, so let's go ahead and do that. We figured that out the last time. I wouldn't mind going ahead and going out that way so I don't fall. Uh, but door frames on here are underneath the door section, and you just move over to get the frame. So, yeah, we're going to build one there. going to build one here and one there. What are they, a two or one? Lots of crude rope. Lots of crude rope. Excellent. That just looks beautiful. Uh, and then we just want to build just a small porch. So we'll 
do this. Uh, get our two here. And then do that. Make sure it's pointing the right direction. And yes, we'll need four. We already went through all of our stems. All right, well, this has been the Assured Gamer. Just giving some tips and tricks about how to anchor to the tree that you can't anchor to the tree, um, but giving some just some structural support behind it. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is, is kind of just make it a fault sense of structure on it as well, uh, that, that will kind of like look at making it look like it's anchored to the tree. Uh, anyways, this has been the Insure Gamer. Until next time, stay safe out there.